Hey guys, I have a library haul today to share with you. I've never done this on my channel and I thought I would, why not guys? So I've been wanting to watch the series Downton Abbey and so I went to my library and got it. <laughs> um, so I got season one and I got season two and three. Um, I got them ordered so they'll be coming, they'll notify me when they're at the at the library so I can go pick them up but yeah I cannot wait to watch them and I have some a little bit of extra time today through Thursday so I thought I would just kind of watch as many as I could um, or at least watch season one we'll see how far I get but yeah let me know if you guys like this show and um, I've seen a couple of the episodes of it but I haven't seen every one so I thought I would um, you know, see if I like it. The rest of the things I got were books and um, the library that I go to uh, allows you to get, I believe it's 30 items, <laughs> but I did get a big stack. Let me show you how much I got. Ugh. Oh, it's heavy. I kind of got a variety of books, so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I picked up. And the first one is etiquette. <laughs> so I guess you can kind of think, I mean, things that I've talked about on my channel, that's really what interests me so it's going to kind of be along those lines but the first one is Emily Post's etiquette and when I saw this I thought of keeping up appearances um, the show keeping up appearances the British show and anyway this is Emily Post and she has a whole bunch of advice in here um, of what to do when you you know for etiquette things and need to know and I'm not gonna bore you with etiquette but I like to kind of look at books like this and um, so I thought I'd just kind of flip through this book and just see what there is that I'm not doing that I should be doing maybe uh, the next book is um, Mrs. Rose little book of southern pies <laughs> and at our church we're actually gonna have like a pie fellowship coming up soon I can't wait it's gonna be so much fun and I thought I would just, you know, I'm in the South, I'm in Virginia, so this little book of Southern Pies would help me out. Um, I'm originally from New York, so I'm used to like blueberry pie, apple pie, um, Boston cream pie. And so there's some other ones in here that I've not really even heard of. Mrs. Brown's Grape Pie. Uh, let's see here, what else? Hmm, Gooseberry Pie. Ooh, spicy pumpkin pie, mm, sweet potato pie, chestnut pie, coconut cream, banana cream, sour cream and raisin. What? Um, tar heel pie, what is that? From North Carolina? Yeah, so, um, you know, chocolate chest pie. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So I thought I would just kind of look this over, maybe make two of the pies there. Um, for our church fellowship and yeah so anyway I'm getting prepared for that it's gonna be in November so and the books that I got out I can have them out for two weeks so that gives me enough time to look through these books okay this book was the coolest looking book that I got and I don't really like have an interest necessarily in this subject but I kind of do look at this book guys look at this book it's called the bee book and it's mainly just all about bees and how they're vital to our planet and such things. And it's a really neat book. So when you open it up, it's just got a lot of different information. And I love the bee movie. I know that's not, I mean, that's not a good reason to get a book at a library. But <laughs> it's got a lot of really cool pictures and just really a neat book to get. So I thought I would just... Um, kind of look at it. I mean, you don't have to read a whole book when you get it from the library, right? <laughs> so I picked up this book and um, it's a recipe book and it's also like a story book as well. Um, lobster rolls and blueberry pie. So my husband and I, when we went on our honeymoon, we went up to Maine. It was gorgeous. We stayed at Bar Harbor and uh, let's see, a gun quick, I think. And I have family up there. So I, you know, we knew where to stay and everything. But Maine has some really good food and um, they have a lot, of, everything's like blueberry up there. They have so many things that are blueberry. So I thought this was just kind of a neat book because the, the cover is just kind of cool. And um, inside there's pictures and a lot of like family stories and then recipes. So I was interested in just kind of looking through this and seeing what there was like corn pudding and 
parsnips. Maine maple cream creme brulee. Blueberry bread pudding with vanilla custard sauce. Okay, that I probably need to make that. That sounds really good. <laughs> so yeah, just some things. Um, I'm sure there's, oh yeah, like there's pan roasted cod and scallops. So I just mainly just wanted to kind of see what this was all about. I know my mom would love this book because she's from that area. So I found two books about tea and I want to do more uh, videos about that on my channel about the different types of tea and how to steep tea and just stuff like that you know just kind of little things about tea and just kind of share it with you and I know things I used to work in a tea room um, <laughs> in high school and I love the pictures in the book and stuff that one's mainly just pictures of stuff so this one is actually the story of tea and it's a cultural history and drinking guide so I kind of want to read a little bit about the different types of tea like I know we have black tea herbal tea white tea smoky tea and that's pretty much all that I know about I know we there's flavored teas and stuff so um, this section of the book talks about different kinds of tea and what you know a little bit about them so I really want to learn more about tea because I have an interest in it. I just have never really done any research on it. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Two more books. <laughs> this book I got, it's the veterinarian's guide to your dog's symptoms. And so, um, I just want to kind of look a couple things up, um, about my dog and just kind of see if there's anything that I can be doing to help her. And, um, yeah, so this is mainly just for research purposes. I want to look, look it up and just kind of see. So it's, it's mainly about sickness on, in dogs. Okay, and don't worry, she's okay. <laughs> Sasha's fine. All right, the last book that I got was mainly for my husband, but I'm actually gonna look at it too. Um, it's from America's Test Kitchen. Hey, Sash, you're in here now. Um, this book is America's Test Kitchen, What Good Cooks Know. 20 years of test kitchen expertise in one essential handbook. So I do have one of the um, America's Test Kitchen cookbooks, but I thought I would get this book and just kind of look up some things about cooking. So that's what this book is. And this is just kind of like a lot of good advice and what to substitute for ingredients and just kind of some interesting um, charts about meat types of meat, cuts of meat, just a bunch of stuff that some of it doesn't really interest me, but I know it will interest my husband. And then there's recipes in the back. Um, so, and they claim of course to have the best recipes, you know, like test tried and tested and true. So <laughs> I thought I would let my husband at least, you know, see if he wanted to look at it and then I would kind of look at it too. So yeah, those are the books uh, that I got. Normally I get a lot of videos and, and DVDs and Blu-rays, but I didn't this time, um, mainly because I, I kind of just looked through really quickly and I didn't really see anything that interests me. Um, I knew I had the Don't and Abby, and that, that'll take up a lot of time. But I wanted to pick up some books and share what I found and what is currently interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these and maybe in two more weeks I will return with another library haul. Take care guys.